Hey everyone, um, today is Sunday, so it is Sunday story time, and with me I have Sue. She is a ball python, sometimes called a royal python. They are native to Africa. They're actually pretty common as pets because of their docile nature. Sue here is an education animal here at Proust Pets, and today she is going to be read Friendly Day. So this will be her Sunday night story before going to bed. Are you excited for your story? Okay. So Friendly Day by Mish Kelly and Charles Fugue. When Cat caught Mouse outside his house, Courageous Mouse cried, Hey, put down that plate and see the date. It's a friendly day today. A day for sharing, a day for caring, when everyone is nice. When Frog reads Snail a fairy tale, and cats do not eat mice. Well, fancy that, exclaimed the cat. I'll have to spread the word. He quickly strode across the road and told Dog what he had heard. Dog stared wide-eyed and then replied, That's such a great idea. You mean to say today's the day, the one day in the year, when parakeets bring tiger treats and rhinos takes the time to knit new mittens for helpless kittens and sing a nursery rhyme? Cat cried, yes, yes, and sharks play chess with all the little fishes, and old gray moose pours orange juice for anyone that wishes, and even mole comes out of his hole to play I spy with goat, and chimpanzee makes herbal tea for ostriches sore throat. Dog said, oh boy, what joy, what joy, and hip, hip, hooray. He called, hey bear, are you aware today is friendly day when foxes croon all afternoon to entertain geese? and little birds tweet soothing words of hope and love and peace? Bear scratched his head, and then he said, it's a lovely thought to think that we could ever be as kindly as we ought. To think baboons hand out balloons to all the butterflies makes tears of bliss and happiness come pouring from my eyes? But dog, said Bear, are you aware? There's really no such thing as friendly day or any day when wasp and bees don't sting. I must insist it doesn't exist it is a lovely lie. Poor dog, poor cat, they hated that. They both began to cry. Inside his house, the tiny mouse was glad he'd slipped away. He tricked the cat, but now he sat and longed for friendly day. Meanwhile, outside, the dog still cried. The bear gave him a pat. Oh dear, cheer up, my dearest pup. I have a plant, said cat. We'll talk to snail and snake and whale. We'll put the world to rights. We'll make them see how things could be if only no one fights. Dog thought of how friendly cow might help a crocodile, how centipedes might do good deeds. He smiled a watery smile. Then arm in arm with old world charm and so much to be done, the three friends strode off down the road towards the setting sun. Well, that was a lovely story now, wasn't it, Sue? about how we can all be friends and we can all get along. So even if you're scared of snakes like Sue, you have to remember she might be just as afraid of you. And it's a good idea to just always be friendly. Even if you're scared, you can just stay away and let a snake be and go their own way. And then we have nothing to worry about. So that's Storytime Sunday with Snoo, with Sue, the ball python. Have a good night.